So this is a fun little frog. He looks like he's waving at us. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna first work on the body and then we're gonna add the arms and the legs. So the first shape that you need to make, and by the way, um, you can make this as big or as small as you like. Uh, I'm gonna do the body up a little bit like this because I wanna leave room down here for the legs. So right about in the middle of my paper, I'm gonna do, it's like an upside down U, just like that. Now, if you decide that you wanna do this in pencil first, that's fine too. So I did an upside down U, and then I'm just gonna connect those two together, that's my body. Now I'm gonna do the exact same shape to have it be his belly. So I'm gonna make it just a little smaller. Now I don't want it to go up too far because this is where I'm gonna put the smile. Now I'm gonna add the eyes. And the eyes, you can either make them full circles like that, that seems to work pretty good, let's do like that. And they're just touching that line, just like that. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. And then this little part here is where I'm gonna put the black eyeballs. You can make this as big or as small as you want. You can um, play around with that a little bit. So I've got his eyes, now I just need to do his mouth. I'm gonna have a very happy smile on my frog. You can leave it like that, or some of you like to put the little corners on it. However you want it is great. So that's the body. Now we are gonna do his long, skinny arms and legs. So I think I'm gonna go and do the arms first. I have mine waving. You can make yours go straight out. You can make them go down. You can make them any way you want. And I made mine bent at the elbow. So right about in the middle of the body, you just do a shape like this. Don't put it right toward the end because that's where his um, paw is gonna be or his, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, foot. And I'm gonna do another one right next to it. I'm keeping mine pretty skinny because frogs have pretty skinny legs. And then I'm gonna make one toe in the middle and then two more sticking out like that. We'll come and finish that foot later. The one on this side, I'm gonna make again, right about in the middle with an elbow pointing down, just like that. It's sort of an upside down V again. And then I'm going to put another line next to it so that it's not just a stick. And then I'm gonna do the one finger out of the middle and then the two sides. Okay, now I'm gonna do the legs. We're gonna come back and do all the feet at the same time. This one I did the feet or the legs coming right out of the corner. You can see it. On this one, his legs are crossed. On this one, I'm gonna have him more just sort of um, pointing his leg out, almost like he's jumping. That's sort of a fun thing to do. I think I'll do it the same way on this side. And the same way as before, I'm gonna do another line right next to it so he doesn't have total stick legs. Trace right along it. Now I'm gonna do the toes, one in the middle, two on the side, one in the middle, two on the side. Now frogs have webbed feet. That means that they have a little bit of skin in between their toes. So in order to show that, I just did a little curve right like that. I'm gonna do another curve here. I'm gonna do that on all of mine, just like that. That is what helps frogs and toads, or probably not toads, that's what helps frogs swim in the water. And now I'm gonna add some little toes at the end. One, two, three. Sometimes these little pads are sort of sticky and that's what helps frogs cling on to things. So every toe, there. That is the end of drawing my frog. Now, if you wanna go ahead and put that on your, um, on your watercolor paper, you can do that. You can color it with colored pencil, crayon, watercolor, whatever you have. And let me show you my frog after I painted him. I think he looks even better when he has a little bit of color. You could make a pond in the background, you could make trees, a little swamp, whatever you want to make your um, frog special. I even gave my little red toes, which I, th I think some frogs 